What's going on everybody? Kwaku here, back with another video. Today's video, very late recording. I know it's 10 o'clock, 10.30, but it's gonna come out, I promise. Sorry, right, today's video is actually uh, gonna be taking a look at Microsoft Launcher, but on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. One reason why I wanted to do this is simply because, um, well, I looked at it in before when I was in France, and that was with my Note 10 Plus on a traditional bar style format phone slash device. Uh, but this is a different kind of device, and I wanted to see just how usable it might be and what kind of quirks might be with it. And I'll tell you, I've already found a quirk with it. Um, it's kind of hard to replicate now, now that I've changed things, but it has to do with the wallpaper. Before I even get to that, let's roll the intro and get into the meat of the video. All right, so now here we are. We are looking at my Z Fold 3's home screen when it is in its closed format, when it's not using the tablet mode. As you can tell, I am recording this via the Your Phone application on Windows 11, um, or the Windows 10 and 11, so things still work very well. Uh, the frame rate might not be perfect, but you can see what I need to get through. So right now, this is the Microsoft Launcher. In fact, if I go here, and I show you guys the Microsoft Launcher, you can see here that um, they don't really ever really show like anything related to like folding devices. They just show the normal devices. Like when you rotate, you can see that if I rotate, let's see if it works. Nope, I turned off rotation. But you can see they don't ever really show that stuff. They really mainly only ever show um, just this stuff. In fact, let me turn off rotation. Now you guys can see how the Play Store and everything looks on there. So they don't ever really show that stuff. So this is, might be one of the few videos you'll ever see on YouTube that deals with that. So the Microsoft Launcher is here. Just like in the previous video uh, that I looked at the Microsoft Launcher, if you pinch in and you try to pinch in, that's how you get into this screen here where it lets you change your layouts and your formats and things like that. Uh, if you're like me, I don't like having empty pages like this. I'm going to remove all these excess pages. Like, I don't know why it created another kind of home screen like that. So remove that page. I'll keep the Galaxy Buds page and all those things. This is your glance view page, just like on the One UI uh, type of thing. So next thing you see here is you got change wallpaper. Uh, if you click that, it's just like that, it changes wallpaper. Now, one of the quirks that I tried to figure out and that is that happens in tablet mode. I'm not sure if it's going to happen actually right now in the normal clamshell mode or normal mode. See this select image thing here. It doesn't normally it doesn't show up in the tablet mode. So let's see what happens if I try to expand the device. So you can see my different wallpaper is trying to adjust here. And before I even get to what you see where there's an issue now, let me try to do that pinch to zoom in. Let's see, does it work? Yes, it does. And then let me change wallpaper. I'm gonna go to the Bing side and I'm gonna hit the same cheetah. Okay, now for some reason while recording, now you see the select image button here, which lets me change the uh, wallpaper. And obviously I can pick what side of it I wanna do. Uh, so I can choose to whether I want just that with the cheetah's head kind of on the, the right thirds or just move it over to the middle. It's only options I get. Uh, so that's kind of just how that is. And for some reason, one of the other quirks with it is that it makes me rotate my device. Like right now, if I try to rotate my device upright to the vertical orientation, it doesn't let me modify the image that way. It only lets me rotate it to be so that way the top half of the phone, the heavier half of the phone where the camera is, is up. And then the other side is down. The other screen is down. It's very strange. But that is the wallpaper changing of it. In fact, there we go. In fact, if I go back there, so you see that. And then if I now, if I rotate, now you can see it's readjusted itself. Now, the second quirk that I found here is this dock down here. This dock, it's a cool feature. In fact, I left Amazon shopping there for a reason, because if you click and drag just like that, and you want to put something in the dock, if you just hover over an item like Play Store there, it pushes it down one level. However, if you drag underneath it, you can move it to the bottom level. Now I have set it so that way it the the icons match the home screen of this application. Um, of but you can change it so that way the icons on the dock don't match the home screen from small, medium, and large. And for some reason, and once again, uh, I don't see it. I don't see what's what's going on because 
it makes all the icons giant no matter what. It doesn't seem to matter. So if I pinch in, and then let's say I go to launcher settings, just like before on the other version, not the app drawer, but rather the dock. And then let's say I uncheck match home screen icon size. And right now it'd be set to small. So it's set to small and I go back, you see it's giant. It is giant. Now, if I pinch in, go to launcher settings, go to dock, and then I go to medium, take note, the icon, I'm not sure, it doesn't look too much different from the small. And then another thing there, um, dock, large, it still looks the same. And again, it's the main purpose of this is because obviously it's not optimized for this kind of device. Now, if I close the launcher and if I log in, you see that it looks good. Now, if I pinch in launcher settings, dock, maybe go to small. Let's see. So now it changes the size. So it really does not know what to do on a tablet size. It only knows what to do on a bar bar phone size. So it just take note of that if you plan on uh, buying one of these devices, like uh, the Z Fold 3, not the Z Flip. The Z Flip, I'm sure it'll work fine. But the Z Fold 3 device, and you want to open it up to the tablet mode, your icons are going to be giant. So if I open it up right now, you see your icons, the icons are giant. So that's one of the quirks things that I wanted to show you guys in it. Um, another thing here, you do got your themes. You can choose your different uh, themes like that. I like this calendar style. You can change the opacity of it so that way you can see, you know, the background of it, system theme. I like having this mica blur effect. In fact, apply blur effect to all screens. I got 12 gigs of RAM. I can do that on this phone. Going back, uh, search, you can set your search bar look and you can set your search preferences. Uh, search engine, if you want it to be Bing, Google, whatever. I love DuckDuckDo just for the privacy. And then you can choose to have it so you can copy QR code results to clipboard. Um, default search browser, of course, it's going to default it to Edge. Of course, me with privacy. I'm going to Brave. I'm going to hit OK with that. Another thing is that just Windows 11 obviously doesn't really like you doing too much is that. Um, you can search bar style so you can change it the search bar style to be more rounded or whatever this is like the windows 11 rounded corners or maybe this is kind of like the windows 11 rounded corners i'll click that uh and then go back set that correctly uh let's say let's go back some more and let's say i want to modify um i don't know let's say i want to modify my home screen okay and then i want to just set the icon size Obviously, you see that I don't have any icons on my home screen. I don't like icons on my desktop or my home screen of my devices. I know I'm probably crazy. I just like opening up the app launcher or the app drawer and just launching my apps from there. But it is it is what it is. You can see that it tells you how many rows you want, uh, whether it's four or five. I don't mind five, five. I feel like 12 is a little excessive if you have that amount. Uh, so I'm going to go with five. And I think this only applies, this looks like it applies to the tablet portion. So let me see what happens. If I go to four or five right now uh, and I go back and obviously you don't notice a difference there. And then I close it, right? Unlock the device, go back into the launcher and then go into home screen. Uh, we're going to go to icon layout. So it's four or five on both sides, just like that. So it's still the same. You, in fact, you probably saw my weather widget kind of resize itself and make itself look weird. I got to I gotta get this weather thing back. It's going to bother me. So let's hold it down, drag it to the middle. Boom, it's done. The Google search got ruined because I resized the amount of uh, rows I did. So I'm going to make it back to the full. So just like that, it's clean. Up, works down, you know, up, down, up, down. Now, if you want your, if you want your actual app drawer, you might be wondering, where is the app drawer of actually being able to launch all the apps that I have. Now, rather than go to the bottom half, this white little bar here and swipe up so you only see that, you just drag from the middle. Middle up, you get your app drawer just like that. And then down, up, and then down. And same thing when you open it up, let it load in, boom, it seems like I'm gonna snow on Wednesday. Swipe up from the middle, boom, you get your app drawer right there. And then you got your launcher settings right there. Um, pretty cool, right? One other thing too, obviously these launchers, they do not actually let you really change, like let you, they don't really modify uh, your lock screen really too much. They don't do any kind of like complications on lock screen, but just to show and also to gloat, 
I wanted to show you guys my lock screen. You can probably already see it now, but you can see it's an animated lock screen of uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. Pretty dope. Um, doesn't change the icons in the corner. You see the camera and you see the phone icon. Doesn't change that in the Microsoft launcher at all. This is still just a Samsung thing, but you can see that that's what happens. So that's pretty cool. So in general, I just really just wanted to show you guys just the basics of uh, the Microsoft launcher going back into it, but looking at it on a folding phone, because I don't feel like I've seen that at all um, on anything. I don't, I haven't seen that kind of thing on any video online so far. So I just want to jump into it. There's not really a deep point in it, but wanted something to show you guys in that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not too much because I've already looked at the Microsoft launcher and not much is happening in development wise for it other than the Surface Duo 2 stuff. And even that is not changing too much, but I just wanted to show you guys something, um, you know, that you might get out of it just in case you are thinking about going for a, you know, a Z Fold or whatever kind of folding device that you can come across. Uh, maybe you might want to think about using a different launcher. And if you are, you can, you might want to consider this. Um, the quirk right here at the bottom, this bar down here is very annoying. It's like I'm blind. And if you, if you have bad eyesight, the bigger icons obviously help you a lot. So I'm not going to say that that's kind of rude, but for me, I can't do that. So the bigger icons, it's, it's too bad for me. So I'm going to switch that real quick before I close it out, match home screen icon size, and then go back. And then let me check out my home screen and then check my icon size. So let's bump up the icon size to like the largest, just like that. Boom. Now it's a little bit more reasonable, but the bar is too big. It takes up too much of the screen. But in general, let me finish the video out. It's already pretty late in terms of recording this. Uh, yeah. So this was looking back at the Microsoft launcher on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 from Samsung. A little different take on it because it's a folding device versus a, clam a bar device, not a clamshell. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Take notes if you want it. It's free on the Google Play Store. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.